Rediscover your past by digitizing your family's memories with Legacy Box. Watch until the end of this video to find out more about preserving your legacy, and then visit LegacyBox.com recollection. There are few things that capture the 1960s better than stepping through the door of a home frozen in time. Peeking inside a typical house from that era is a blast from the past. From the eye-catching colors to the unique architectural features, the 1960s was all about embracing a sense of freedom and creativity that was a shift from the 1950s, and this was certainly reflected in the design of the homes. Many houses featured asymmetrical shapes, large windows, and open floor plans that encouraged a more casual and social lifestyle. The living room was still the heart of the home, and the first thing you'd notice is the love of wallpaper. Bold and patterned wallpaper was a hallmark of 1960s interior design. Geometric shapes and floral prints adorned the walls of many of these homes. From the walls to the furniture, homeowners of the 1960s weren't afraid to make a statement. Sunken living rooms were outfitted with sleek and minimalist furniture that we now consider mid-century modern. Furniture pieces like Eames chairs, Danish teak sideboards, and kidney-shaped coffee tables were popular pieces to own. Many of the couches and chairs were upholstered in various shades of orange, green, and yellow, and accented with wood. Vinyl records were also in just about every home, and many record players were encased in a console table that matched this same aesthetic. After sliding open the cabinet, an endless number of LP records would be found stacked up and ready to play. Smoking was a part of just about every household back then too, and a smoking stand with a large ashtray on top was often found somewhere around the living room, usually beside Dad's favorite recliner. If not, an assortment of these glass ashtrays might have been found on the coffee table or on an end table. One popular architectural feature of the 1960s was the sunken living room. This area of the house would be a few steps lower than the rest of the floor, creating a cozy and intimate space for socializing and relaxing. Houses with a conversation pit are instantly recognized as being from this time period because it was the newest home trend among homes built in the late 1960s. As magazines for just about everyone were being published, families needed a place to organize all of their printed media. Living rooms would often have a wooden rack to store the most recent issue of Life, Woman's Day, or even Boy's Life. Not only was this a convenient place to store your magazines, but it was also a great way to display your offerings when you would have people over. Family game nights were a popular pastime, and usually a weekly event. Classic board games like Monopoly, Clue, and Risk might be found in the closet or stacked on a bookcase, ready to be played and enjoyed. Television sets were becoming more and more common in households during the 1960s. Many homes had large console televisions, often housed in wooden cabinets with a built-in speaker and storage space. Cocktail culture was thriving in the 1960s, and having a stylish bar cart would be a popular addition to the living room. It would be stocked with various liquors, glassware, and cocktail recipes that made entertaining guests quick and convenient. The fascination with Polynesian culture in the 1960s led to many homes having tiki-inspired decor. A corner of the house might even be dedicated to a small tiki bar, maybe some bamboo furniture, or even colorful tiki mugs. Moving on to the kitchen, we see modern kitchen appliances shift towards more convenience with the introduction of affordable and labor-saving devices like dishwashers, electric stoves, and refrigerators with automatic ice makers. The cabinets were often made of sleek wood or laminated surfaces, while the Formica countertops featured patterns that added a splash of maybe turquoise or red. 
On top of the kitchen counter, everything seemed to be finished in chrome. Things like toasters, stand-up mixers, coffee percolators, and canister sets were all made out of shiny chrome that made a statement. No 1960s kitchen was complete without a rotary telephone. You most likely would find the phone mounted on the kitchen wall, and often the color of the phone would match the decor of the kitchen. Having a telephone in the kitchen was pretty common because so much time was spent there throughout the day. Remember the melamine dishes we used to have? It was a practical and often colorful choice for everyday dining in the 1960s. These durable and lightweight plates, bowls, and cups often featured patterns that ranged from floral to country to vibrant colors. Tupperware became immensely popular during this time too. These airtight containers revolutionized food storage and were often showcased in kitchen cabinets or on countertops. The burnt orange or avocado colors were pretty standard, and who could forget the distinct lids that sealed food up tight? Fondue parties were all the rage in the late 1960s, and a fondue set was a kitchen staple, typically consisting of a pot, a set of forks, and a heating element. This dinner party go-to was a delicious way to enjoy melted cheeses and chocolate while socializing. One unique feature hanging in the kitchen was often a timepiece that combined both form and function. Wall clocks were a common sight in 1960s kitchens, and they ranged from standard analog clocks to more stylish art deco or mid-century modern designs. These clocks all featured sweeping hands that let you know the time of day. During the 1960s, bedrooms were often filled with wood paneling, which gave the room a cozy and warm feel. The beds, which were usually just a full or a queen size, were covered with a floral pattern bedspread, and the pillows were tucked neatly beneath it. Bedroom windows were dressed with heavy curtains that might have been tied off to the sides. In the kids' bedroom, a small twin bed could be found. Everything was usually neat and organized, and classic toys could be found that today would be worth a pretty penny. Things like original Barbie dolls, a Kenner Easy Bake Oven, G.I. Joe action figures, early Matchbox cars, and building sets from Lincoln Logs to Erector sets were common. Baseball and football were also important parts of growing up for a young boy, so seeing a bat and glove leaned against the bed or a football displayed on a bookshelf was pretty typical. In the bathroom, the 1960s introduced a new level of sophistication. Pastel colors like pink, blue, and mint green were commonly used for bathroom toilets, sinks, and bathtubs. Ceramic tile was also a popular choice that often matched the fixtures. And then there was the medicine cabinet that held all of the remedies that mom would use to make things all better. Remember the mercurochrome, castor oil, and iodine? Wrapping up our tour of the 1960s home, it's important to mention that these houses were not just a reflection of the interior design trends, but also the spirit of the times. The 1960s was a decade of tremendous change, where society was experiencing a cultural revolution. It was an era that began with hope and optimism, and then shifted to breaking away from traditional norms. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and maybe even consider supporting the channel over on Patreon. Recollection Road has partnered with Legacy Box because we're both all about preserving the past. Why not do the same with your own family home movies and photos? Legacy Box is the simple, safe, they've thought of everything solution for converting your home movies and photos to thumb drive or the cloud. Just send in your legacy box filled with old VHS and camcorder tapes, film reels, and pictures, and get back digital copies that can be easily enjoyed, shared, and kept organized. It's that easy. Not only is Legacy Box trusted by over 1 million people, but it's professionally digitized right here in the USA. Get started preserving your past today. Go to LegacyBox.com recollection to get an incredible 55% off. Buy today to take advantage of this exclusive offer and send in your memories when you're ready. Go to LegacyBox.com recollection to save 55% while supplies last. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this playlist 
and then visit the channel to search the Recollection Road Library. As always, thank you so much for watching.